monoclonal antibodies are monospecific antibodies that are made from specific immune cells, which are all clones from specific parent cell. Those antibodies are used in many diagnosis and therapeutic treatment, like treating cancers. To get monoclonal antibodies, it will need to go under two processes, production and purification. To produce certain antibodies, the production of B cells in an organism should be induced, and that can be done by injecting an animal like a mice or recently it's been used in rabbits with a certain protein or antigen, which allows the immune system of the animal to produce B cells against the foreign body. Then the B cell will be extracted from the spleen of the animal and should be added to a myeloma cells, or what is called a cancer cells. The reason why the myeloma cells are used because it can live forever. The result of the fusion between B cells and myeloma cells will form a hybridomas. The next step is to let the sample grow in HAT medium, which is hypoxanthine, aminotrin, thymidine, which is selective for the hybridomas between B cells and myeloma cells. Till now, the sample still includes different kinds of antibodies, so in favor to choose a specific antibodies, the sample should go under limited dilution, so we can get one cell in a medium. The cells will keep growing and secrete monoclonal antibodies. Then those antibodies will bind to an antigen with a LISA, microarray, or immunodotplot assay. Then the most stable clones will be chosen, which can be injected into mice, so it can produce tumor secreting antibody rich serum that called ascites fluid. Production in cell is called ascites technique. After obtaining the sample of fluid, it should be extracted. The culture sample may contain hormones and transferrin, while the vivo sample may contain the host antibodies, protease, nucleic acid, viruses, and other microbes. The purification starts by filtering the sample with 0.45 nanometer filter to remove cells, lipids, and clot factor. Then the sample is condensed by ultrafiltration or dialysis. The charged material in the sample like nucleic acid can be removed by ion exchange chromatography. Cation exchange is for low pH, while anion exchange is used for high pH. At the last step, the antibodies containing media will be incubated with the immobilized antigens. Monoclonal antibodies can be used in diagnosis since it has the ability to detect proteins in a membrane, as well as it's useful in immunohistochemistry and immunofluorescence tests. Monoclonal antibodies can bind to a cancer cell specific antigen and induce immunological responses against the selected cell. In addition, it's effective against the viral diseases.